Hey everybody. Just wanted to put together this uh, Grave and Bones LED Haunted Ghost Bride. She is a Home Depot special. <laughs> um, she's a hundred bucks from Home Depot. Um, was not going to get her, um, but then I decided that it would that she would look great in my um, graveyard, and I have not saw her in person, and I have only seen the videos, but she looks pretty cool, so we're going to open her up, see what she looks like. Um, my haunt has been canceled this year because of COVID, but I'd still like to open some stuff for you. I got this. And I've got the Home Depot cauldron that I'd like to put together. Um, I'm really excited about the cauldron. I'm really scared about the cauldron because a lot of people have had theirs broken. But let's see how she does. Um, she is pretty packed in here. Uh, uh, got a lot of twisties, metal twisties, so you just can't snap them. So you know what? I'm going to pause for a minute, take her out of the box, and I'll get right back with you. All right, guys, I got it unpacked, and I'm just going to go verbatim, as I always do, with how these instructions go. And I'm going to tell you straight off the bat something I've never done. The module, module is going to be your first piece down, and it's going to be on the floor. And that is so different. Um, but, okay, here we go. So, move this pole. Got our little, our little springs. All right, so much for that. All right, the second part is connect. These are B poles. Connect the B poles. Um, and let me get the B poles. Not very many parts of this. Um, so I'm hoping that means it that translates into it being an easy setup. Now, that being said, I'll probably just jinx myself. Um, like all props, just a little snap pins for connection. Um, I did want to point out, it came, now granted, can't get much thinner than this little cloth. But at least it came with cloth to cover your base. Um, nice thought, probably won't last very long at all, but at least it was a nice thought. All right, so we got the B poles. Now we're supposed to do the slide the upper frame pull pull through the sleeve marked up. All right. Snap lock the upper frame pole into the lower frame module. Match C to C. All right. This is C. C2C. <laughs> I knew it. I knew I would jinx it. I knew I would jinx it. I think this is supposed to be marked up. And it's not. Because I'm not sure what they're talking about. And But it has to be. So. C to C. This is D. Ah, here we go, C to C, okay, snap pins, all right, so we've done that, now we're supposed to attach the spring located on the lower frame and module to the hook on the upper frame and center pole, match yellow to yellow, all right, yellow, little tap, and yellow, little tap. All right. Okay. Keep losing, losing my spot. All right. Attach the spring located on the upper frame. Voila. And pole to the hook on the center pole. Match blue to blue. Blue to blue. Uh -huh. 
blue tab to their, let me spin it around for you. After I knock it down. There's a little blue, to a little blue here. All right. All right. Slide the green fabric cover over. We've already done that. A little before the time, no big deal. Oh no, hold up. No, they're not talking about your base. They're talking about actually this. Okay, so I guess it's now to bring the body out. Now it's saying to, uh, this is your, how did they word it? Center body fabric. <laughs> All right, so slide this over the assembly, assembly upper frame and pull. This is the same thing that that bottom fabric's made out of. It's <laughs> much simpler than that, um, but uh, couldn't get much thinner than that either. All right, so anyway, next, snap the body onto the center pole E to E. All right, this, uh, I'm gonna assume this is E, because uh, this is D. Hold on one second, I wanna make sure because this thing, the way it's, that doesn't snap. The way it moves, I, I, I would imagine it has to be pretty correct. showing a snap in pole and I don't have an E. Am I missing a might have not have should have set that down. There's my E. Alright. Now we're gonna put E to E but let me put the fabric back on. Um, not sure if you guys can see me the way I have the camera positioned, but I'm going to go ahead and speak. Her clothing, not bad at all. Not bad at all. All right, E is the connection that's up her skirt. Um, so we're just going to have to slide all this down. And it's just the same old, same old usual push pins. And apparently... I've been putting that together backwards because the push pin is facing me, so it will not spin around. Got to put the arms back in there. <laughs> All, right. All right. Her push pin didn't want to pop out the greatest, but it did. Hey, I'm loving. This is not bad. This is uh, some of the better, better cloth on a prop that I've seen. Um, some of the better. Um, the absolute best was the Home Depot, I think it was two years ago, had classic monsters. I think they reissued them last year, but they were a sad, uh, reissue of the original. The originals had real clothes, not fabric that felt like real clothes. Real clothes. They are awesome. One of my best purchases. Um, so if you can find those. All right. So she's a dainty little girl. Very small waist. <laughs> but I'm going to spin her around for you. Let you see her. I'll, uh, I'll do some close-ups of the face. As a matter of fact, I want to check it out. 
Yeah. Um, that was one of her key points that I kept hearing about. Everyone loved her face. She has several layers on her. Um, she has a front layer here, and she has two layers on the back of her veil. Um, so that's a nice touch. It adds a, uh, a little depth there. All right. So now we are supposed to reach inside the fabric frame cover and connect the wires from the fabric frame cover F to F. All right. I have one edge. And I have the other edge. All right. The next thing we're supposed to do is connect the wire labeled G located under the fabric to G. All right. G to G. Um, it would appear that my G to G has already been connected. Both are on the her left-hand bottom side. I hope the fact that my G to G that has already been connected does not mean somebody has already purchased her and returned her. Her packing didn't seem that way, but I hope, and I hope that's the case. All right, the next thing we're supposed to do is connect the adapter or put batteries in her. She, so that's nice that she can do it either and turn the on switch on. I'm sorry, I, uh, I know time is clicking, but apparently all I'm supposed to do next is adapt, uh, do an adapter, and I'm really confused about this setup on the inside. I thought something was gonna go there. I'm also noticing I don't have an adapter. So she does not come with an adapter. And she uses four AA batteries. Huh. All right. Pause. I'm going to put some batteries in. Not happy about no adapter. Not happy about that at all. I know they're cheap. You know we're online. But come on. So let me pause. Get right back to you. Okay, guys. I'm going to show you something I messed up on. When I put the batteries in and turned her on, um, she was... <laughs> I had not put, and this is what I had questions about. There's this piece of metal, this this long right here. Um, it said to connect C to C. I'm a very literal person. That's what I did. I connected C to C. I connected D to her body D. And, yeah, maybe it's just operator error or stupidity on my part, probably both, but didn't say anything about running those poles through this this little pole here. I wondered what the little pole was for. Found out. So make sure you do that. Don't do something stupid like me because it was not in there. And she was like, ooh. Hey, you like that? You like that? That's good imitation, right? All right. So I am going to reattach her body. She has batteries and we can see hopefully her operating correctly. Didn't notice the motor to the end there, guys. A um, few things before I activate her again. Did not expect her. I thought she was supposed to go up, maybe tilt a little this way, float a little that way, and then come back down. In actuality, she gets rather tall, and she turns as she's going comes down, comes back, turns back, and comes around. So pretty cool, and she's pretty loud. I haven't adjusted her. This is what setting it came on. I think I, when I kind of caught it out of the corner of my eye, it was half the volume, so pretty loud. Um, 
So let me uh, let me run her through one quick time, and uh, I've got her on timer. Timer has her go off every five minutes or noise. She's rising up. I really like that. You could put her in a, a corner of your grave yard and she can just uh or caddy corner her somewhere and she'll pretty much cover the i love that she turns like that so really cool really cool <clears throat> she's got quite a long activation the only negative i'm gonna see right now um is there is a loud motor sound at the end of uh of her activation. I think we all heard that. All right, I'm gonna reach down here, and while I'm down here, I'm gonna show you. Um, oh, no. All right, so here's our control box. Um, got your batteries, got your, your volume control, uh, step, step pad compatible, um, speaker compatible. Um, so pretty basic, but i tell you what, I wasn't sure, here's your, here's your gears and stuff up above. I wasn't sure about this being on the ground, um, just because I've never had one on the ground. You always have to dig through the back of something um, to reach them. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, maybe that should be a new trend in the animatronics, but I want to show you real quick. Um, she's got some stuffing in here, just some foam. Uh, you could probably put some more if you wanted to, to fluff her out a little bit. But uh, hands are really detailed, real lace. Like I said, this for an animatronic fabric, this is pretty sub sub substantial. I, I like this. Um, she's holding these black flowers. Her arms are posable, and they will not be posed straight out like that. Um, like I said, she's got, sorry, she's got her veil. She's got three layers of, of her veil. Um, um, here's her clothes. Uh, nice hair, nice amount of hair. Um, let's get this face. I mean, come on. Uh, that, that, that's nice. That's nice. Guys, you got to remember, this is a $100 prop, and you're getting all this detail, light up eyes, great movement, great clothing, so, so I am looking forward to hopefully next year, after the eradication of COVID, putting her in my graveyard, because um, I think she's great. For 100 bucks, absolutely she's great. Look at that face. She definitely meets my criteria that if she ever breaks, she's going to make an awesome static. All right. Well, I hope I helped you a little bit. If you're on the fence about this and you got an extra hundred bucks, I would not hesitate. Um, and uh, I hope everyone is having a great season. And I'll uh, get up with you. Hopefully, next one will be I'll be assembling the cauldron. But uh, y'all take care, and I'll catch you later.